Well, it's that time again. It's time to upgrade the Mac Pro to the latest Sequoia version 15.1. And we actually have OpenCore Legacy Patcher 2.1.1. So this video is just gonna be a quick overview of the latest OpenCore Legacy Patcher install and the latest Mac OS Sequoia update. This is what's next. Hey, All right, the latest OpenCore Legacy Patcher is available right now, 2.1.1. But the biggest thing about this, they are focusing on uh, stability and bug fixes. Uh, currently it is 6.56 and we're going to do the download and install. If my Bluetooth mouse decides to start working, here we go, download and install. What we're gonna see is how long does this take? All right, that took about one minute. We do have updated root patches. We're gonna go ahead and click yes to that. We're gonna install it to disk. We're going to the internal drive, the EFI partition. We're gonna update our root patches start root patching. You can see here the last time I did this was on November 2nd. Today is the 5th. It was version 2.1.0. So let's go ahead and do the patching here. Let me reboot and we'll come back to the next step. The reboot was successful and you will see that we are running 2.1.1. Now the next step, the last video, I added everything to the USB drive and we upgraded that way. Now that we're already running Mac OS 15 Sequoia, I don't have to do that. What I can do now is I can go into system preferences or system settings and we're gonna go to software update available. Say update now. We're gonna agree, we're gonna download this. We're currently at 7.02. So we're gonna see how long it takes and how many reboots happen, just like in the last video. Here, the, the legacy patcher has detected that the Mac OS update is being downloaded. The patcher needs to prepare the system for the update and will download any additional resources it may need post update. This may take a few minutes. The patcher will exit when it's done. I'm gonna click OK. And you're seeing here that it's downloading KDK build 24B83. So it's now preparing the software update and that it may take a few moments. Open core is done. We're still downloading and we have about three minutes remaining for the download. So, all right, currently 7.06. We have about 35 minutes remaining. It's preparing Mac OS Sequoia 15.1. So we get to 7.19 and it's gone through and prepped it. That was about, well, I don't know, 15 minutes or so. So it wasn't the whole 35. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna restart the computer. This is the first restart. All right, so we're restarting again. And it appears we are reboot number three. So between all the updating and installing, it's been about a half hour. It's currently 727 and we're going into our fourth reboot. So after several reboots coming up on 730, we now are getting a nine minutes remaining coming up on the nine minute mark, which this computer should be rebooting shortly. I'm going to go ahead and stop the stopwatch. We're looking at nine minutes and 38 seconds. All right, so everything is running a little bit slow right now. Install our patches. We're gonna reboot the system. We'll come back here in just a moment. All right, everything is running back to the way it was. Again, our patching is already done. And you can see that our root patches are from 2.1.1, and that's today's date. So that takes us to the end of this episode. That's another successful update with OpenCore Legacy Patcher. Mac OS Sequoia 15.1 on a Mac Pro 2013. This thing is gonna keep rocking for a while. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again on another episode of Hey, What's Next?